Hi everyone, Veronica here and I'm back in the daily kitchen today. I'm going to be preparing a recipe from the Dr. Gregor How Not to Die cookbook. This is called Cheesy Kale Crisps. We're going to bake these in the oven and it just calls for a few simple ingredients. One bunch of kale, one teaspoon of organic miso, one half cup cashews, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one quarter teaspoon ground turmeric, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, three tablespoons nutritional yeast, and his recipe calls for roasted red bell pepper, but I don't have that today, so I'm just gonna use one red bell pepper. We need to line our baking sheets with some something. He calls for a silicone baking mat, which I don't have. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this parchment baking paper. This is my favorite brand, it's called If You Care. It's a natural, compostable, unbleached parchment paper. And we're just gonna be using a high-powered blender or a food processor, as well as a cutting board and a knife to chop up this bell pepper. So let's get started. Okay, so the recipe calls for one bunch of red kale, but I didn't have red kale, I had green kale, and so I'm just gonna use this, this is fine. This is a curly kale, it's a little different than the, than the dino kale, but if you have the dino flat leaf kale, I'm sure that would be just as good in this recipe. Um, the curly kale I like because it does crisp up really nicely and it, you can actually grind this up and use this as like a garnish for all kinds of recipes as well. So I went ahead, I rinsed this kale with a little bit of vinegar and water. I squeezed it to get all the dirt out and I did remove the stems. I didn't really bother to chop it because I do kind of want these to be like chips. So if I chopped it any smaller than it came off of the stem, it would probably be too small for my liking. So we're basically just gonna make a blender sauce. We're gonna pour it over the kale and then toss the kale together with the sauce. Then spread this kale onto um, two baking sheets and bake at 350 for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I've never made this recipe before, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Let's just go ahead and start blending up our ingredients. Um, Dr. Greger recommends soaking these cashews for about three hours, but I know with my high-powered blender that I can pretty much blend these up really well, so I'm not worried about soaking them. But if you don't have a high-powered blender, I do, I do recommend soaking these cashews. And those are raw cashews. I like those the best. Then I'm gonna add some of my diced bell pepper. I'm gonna use an organic yellow miso paste. Just about a teaspoon of that. Dr. Greger says he really likes smoked paprika. Um, you can use regular paprika too, but I do think that the smoked paprika will give this a nice flavor. So we're gonna use one teaspoon of that. Okay, and then the Daily Dozen recommendations include turmeric. So this is a good way to add a little extra turmeric to your diet. So I'm gonna use a half of a teaspoon of ground turmeric powder. This recipe, you can also use fresh turmeric, but I really just never have that on hand. So I'm just gonna use the powder. Okay, next I'm gonna add one teaspoon of rice vinegar. This is gonna give this a little bit of acidity to break up the fat that's in the cashews and help the flavors marry. Then I'm gonna use three tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes. I like to buy this non-fortified nutritional yeast on Amazon. I'll share a link in the description below. And I buy it in bulk and then I put it into a container like this for easy access. It's actually pretty cheap when you buy it in bulk. So three tablespoons of that. 
Okay, next we're just gonna add a little bit of water. It seems like the, he really wants this recipe to not be too runny, so we're just gonna add a couple tablespoons of water to start and see how that works out. My kale is still a little bit wet, so I am gonna take that into consideration when adding water to the sauce because he does say to have a very dry kale. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, that looks really delicious. Look, it's like a red bell pepper cheesy sauce. So let's pour this onto our kale and start massaging it into the kale. Okay, that looks really good. I probably should have used a bigger bowl. It would have been a little easier to mix, but that worked out really well. Look at the kale is coated in this nice cheesy sauce. I tasted it, it's really delicious. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this onto my baking sheets. Okay, now that it's on the baking sheets, I'm gonna place this into my preheated oven at 350 degrees, and I'm gonna let this bake for about 20 minutes. I am gonna to toss these um, over about halfway through to make sure that they cook evenly on both sides. And so while those kale chips are cooking, I did want to just share with you the book that we're doing this recipe from. This is from Dr. Michael Greger. He's the um, host of nutritionfacts.org. He wrote this book, How Not to Die, which focuses on sharing the daily dozen dietary recommendations. And then he also has another book called how not to diet and this one is a little bit more focused on specifically weight loss so um i definitely recommend checking out these two books he also has another book that just came out called how not to age and then i think soon he'll have a cookbook on that one too but these are two books i really recommend and these recipes are so good and it's just great to have cookbooks focused around the healthiest foods prepared in a pretty simple manner that's really delicious. So I'll share links in the description below for where you can purchase these on Amazon. And um, the kale chips are almost ready, so I can't wait to taste those. All right, 
so here's what the kale chips look like after they came out of the oven. Um, my kale was a little bit more wet, so I did bake these for 33 minutes total, and I tossed them um, in the last 10 minutes around the pan, which really did make a big difference in how they turned out. So these look really good. We're just gonna let them cool, and then we'll do a little taste test. Okay, so let's taste these. These look so good. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They're light and crispy and they're coated in such a delicious sauce. So I'm really grateful for the recipe in the How Not to Die cookbook. Um, and I can really see how you could eat like a whole head of kale when you prepare it like this. Um, probably would be a little too much to eat the entire recipe in one day. I would suggest probably eating it over the course of two, three, or four days. but. This is a great snack, and if you're having a hard time getting kale into your diet, which is a leaf, a dark leafy green that's super packed with nutrition, I mean, check this out. And if you're having issues with like snacking and wanting potato chips and unhealthy stuff, this is a really great substitute. And then lastly, if you're having a hard time getting kids to eat greens, this is a great way to get them to eat the greens. So let's taste this. Mmm. It tastes like nacho cheese chips. Mmm. Okay. I better go share these with everyone before I eat them all. <laughs> Alright, thanks for cooking with me today. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!